Hi, let's see how to find the Fourier transform of Dirac comb. So, Dirac comb is a sum of delta functions and it can be represented like this. Well, what we must know about Dirac comb is that it's a periodical function. Which means, if it's a periodical function, it can be represented as a uh, Fourier series. Well, I already represented the relation of the Fourier series. Well, where Cn is equal to 1 divided by t integral from minus half of a period to half a period of sino multiplied by exponential j to pi f t dt but what's the value of the sino between minus half a period and half a period here, the value of our Dirac comb is a delta function. So I can write my integral as delta function here multiplied by exponential 2 pi ft and I already uh, shown that this value is 1 so that means cm is equal to 1 divided by t So, if I rewrite again the Fourier series um, minus infinite plus plus infinite 1 divided by t exponential of j and 2 by f t. How to get um, the Fourier transform of this representation of this relation well we will uh, start from frequency representation of a um, delta function well a delay delta function here f0 on frequencies axis has these forms and I want to get into the time domain well I will apply the inverse of Fourier transform so to get in time domain, I will apply this integral j to pi f t d f and this um, relation becomes as following exponential of j to pi f0 t df so the exponential got the f0 instead of variable 
f which is the delay in delta function well we know that in this in this domain this part of the product it's a constant and I will write them in front of the integral like that and it multiplies the integral of delta function delayed but the value of this integral is always 1 so we got the value of exponential and in time domain this is no more a constant because there is a time variable here and let's have a look closer to this relation and actually we we find that this relation is this one so this implies that the Fourier transform of this relations of this relation give us this uh, result which means if we apply a sum of uh, of arguments exponential arguments here we will got a sum of um, delta functions so I will rewrite here 1 divided by t sum of minus infinite to plus infinite exponential of j and to pi f t and we want to transform this to frequency domain so I will apply a Fourier transform to this relation and the result is 1 divided by t of f minus n f 0 so a comb uh, of delta functions, a Dirac comb in time domain is equivalent to a Dirac comb in frequency domain Here step is F0, here steps step is T. Oh yeah, don't forget, don't forget one divided by T. Thank you.